Like this, yeah, see that? Why in the hell is it heavy on one side? Well, one thing, they didn't intend for you to use this as a guide scope. So it was supposed to be used for a, you know, a star finder, blah, blah, blah. But, um, I found a problem. These screws right here that hold the spider veins, this whole shaft, well, the shaft of the spider vein that holds the secondary mirror was tilted and it was off whack. So I bent it back into place and these veins move. Like there's flex, these screws right here. See that, the screws? These were kind of like, they're loose. So when... This is how bad it was before calibration. I reseated the whole mirror and I took a black Sharpie and I flocked the mirror. So, everything's got a black Sharpie mirror, marker on it. Garnett Leary and I collaborated how bad my secondary mirror was for it was not perpendicular to the primary mirror. All right, green is the OTA tube of the focuser. Red is the primary mirror. And blue is the, the sensor, well, the secondary mirror. And uh, it looks pretty good, right? Got good circles here. That's concentric. Has to be. It's a start, somewhat of a donut. Better than before. Much better. Wow. Reflecting back, standing on my feet for many hours trying to get this right. Uh, Garnett sent me lots of drawings on how he thinks I should correct this, and it was very instructional. And I finally fixed the secondary mirror so where it's square and perpendicular. My dog, Canis Major, here is just enjoying here watching Star Trek Picard. And here I am taking the first shot at the moon. I'm doing a quick focus on the moon. I just did my first light. And I'm going for the moon termination line. Here on, um, what's this called? Yeah, Nina. So this is first light after doing my collimation with the OCAL tool. Pretty excited. I didn't polar align, I just turned on the scope. Swinging over to Bode's Galaxy, I was quite impressed on the first shot. Uh, long exposure for like 15 seconds was pretty impressive on the screen. Here's my back out focus for my Newtonian on a coma corrector. Okay, we are done for tonight. to shut everything off.
had some clear skies. Yeah, not good stuff. We did good. <laughs> we did good. I am leaving soon, and you will forgive me if I speak bluntly. The universe grows smaller every day, and the threat of aggression by any group, anywhere, can no longer be tolerated. There must be security for all, or no one is secure. Now, this does not mean giving up any freedom, except the freedom to act irresponsibly. Your ancestors knew this when they made laws to govern themselves and hired policemen to enforce them. We of the other planets have long accepted this principle. We have an organization for the mutual protection of all planets and for the complete elimination of aggression. The test of any such higher authority is, of course, the police force that supports it. For our policemen, we created a race of robots. Their function is to patrol the planets in spaceships like this one and preserve the peace. In matters of aggression, we have given them absolute power over us. This power cannot be revoked. <laughs>